going to make this short video as a follow-up to my other short taxidermy ones because I've had so many questions about the, the work that I've done for you. But what I want to make clear is I'm not a professional taxidermist. I do this as part of my activities and hobbies. It's a part of my natural history interest. It's a part of the painting, the art, the, uh, the, the interest in nature and the angling and everything else. I don't do very much of it. Um, what I have learnt I'm sharing with you. These methods were taught to me by a professional and the methods and techniques do seem to work. The models that I've made, the mounts that I've done, uh, remain stable and I've had them for some of them for 15, 20 years. So if I can pass this information on to you and help you, that's great. But please, when you're asking questions, remember that it's only an interest for me. So I do my best to assist you with the little knowledge I have and hope that it helps you to enjoy your activities further as well, to enjoy your fishing and to mount your own fish. And if I can help, that's fine. Voilà une perche prise le lundi 4 mai avec un petit poisson vivant au paradou. Voilà une perche de combien 1,5 kg tu as dit Oui. Ok. C'est bon ça. Bon perche, oui. Tu es content Très content. Oui, bien. Hi, well, I've been asked to do another video about mounting fish. I don't do very many now, but um, it's an art in itself and the paintwork, of course, is a great pleasure to me because being an artist, it's another skill and another craft. Well, a fisherman's just been down with a friend of mine who has a boat here and caught a rather nice perch, a two and three quarter pound that they brought back. And uh, they offered it to me to eat. Well, not only will I eat it, but I'll also uh, mount it as well and show you how that's done. In a little bit more detail this time, perhaps, because uh, since my other videos, um, I've had a lot of questions asked about what materials I use and the chemicals, so I'll explain those a bit more clearly now as I go along. And let's do this rather nice perch and I'll show an example I've done before as well. Now basically all the equipment I'm going to need is here. We have a canister of formaldehyde, in case you can see it's a solution of 35%. Somebody asked me how much I use the other day. And that's quite strong, I tend to water it down a fraction more than that even. So a box of borax, here it says sodium borate, or actually it's known as uh, borax and it's also the old fashioned washing soda. So you can either pick it up from a hardware store or order it especially from the chemist. Now I'm going to use an old fashioned traditional way of taxidermy using sawdust and I use a little bit of fiberglass wool in the head as well. Uh, so all I'm going to need are some scalpels, a syringe for the chemical, um, some pliers and of course I've got to paint this glass eye myself in this case as well. I've already photographed the fish, which is very important because the fish will dry and the colours will change dramatically. So it's important you do this while it's still fresh, so that when it's all finished, we can paint it. I'm going to use just hand techniques with brushes and glazes, but of course uh, modern taxidermists can use airbrushes and many more fantastic and wonderful techniques. We'll use the acrylics and we'll just paint the eye. Remember that with the fish, the eye is slightly elliptical, one way more than the other. You can see that in this case on this eye here, where it comes out that way a little bit. So all I have to do is now to get the colours behind correct. I think that's near enough. We've got the gold and brown in the middle going to the yellows and golds on the outside. Another thing we we'll notice on this fish is that the fin has been uh, badly damaged in its youth. In fact the spines are completely missing here. We'll look at ways of perhaps uh, repairing that as well. So the first thing to do is to turn the fish over and cut it open and we'll start getting the flesh out. Because I want this meat to eat as well so and I fillet it out and keep it nice and clean. This flesh is a very nice meat to eat too. All the way down to the tail. All the way around. You see how neatly that's coming away. Very little meat there at all. I'm just going to open that up a bit this way as well. I'm going to get right in behind the brain cavity here. There we go. And now I should be able to get underneath there. The body meat. There we go. And while I've got my scalp already, I'm not going to waste time. I'm going to fill it that straight away because we'll have that for dinner tonight. Let's get in there and cut it out. There. Remove all this crud. And remove the eyes as well. 
just flick around them with a scalpel and they should just lift out then we'll use a pair of inches for that, tweezers for that so simple as that right our fish is ready now for the borax the basic cutting has been done so we take the borax and spread it nearly one inside over everything at this stage if you want to use the formalin anywhere I'm going to use it just in the base of the tail here get right into the little bits of meat that I couldn't quite reach anywhere else that you think it might need it just in the fins maybe you couldn't quite remove all the meat Something else I will do is just take a little piece of wood here to go inside the fish because you want something to screw into when you mount it on the base later. Now personally I like to start by tying off at the top immediately. Coming behind those scales. And make sure now that you're actually linking up, joining up now is the time to tighten up any previous stitches and you can use the needle to do that from originally and just tighten your way through each, each stitch make sure it's nice and tight and our sawdust so we've got our fiberglass wool already stopping it from going out of the gills at the other end it's got to be really well packed down to the head Lay it down again, put our needle and continue the sewing. Sew it up almost to the finish now. Right, there's our basic uh, sewing up done. Just to clean the fish off, turn him over. Voila, that's in the right shape as well. So we just sort of move this sawdust around a bit inside the fish. It's very full bodied there. I find pieces of mount card or mat card in America to be alright for this job. It should be alright there. There we are, the basic fish. Let him dry like that for the moment. If you remember this fish came in with damaged fins, what I've done is taken some plastic and glued it. Did an experiment across here. See you know, the plastic areas that I've done, silicone just drying off on it. Can trim those carefully. The damage there that we've just fixed on a little piece on the tail as well. And so here we have the results of the perch being caught and some saloa from earlier and our chef Mark, which is the perch Mark? Perch is that and that under there Excellent And Rosie's got that, that bit there My perch So let's try it all out